Welcome, welcome everybody. How are you? We're going live here on TikTok with CounterTopEpoxy.com. So, thanks for watching our channel. The link is in the bio if you are interested, if you have more questions or need to call us and want to figure any of the details out that we go over in these videos. We're doing some casting right now. We're going to be doing some, um, just two little cutting board kind of, I don't even know what they're going to be, like food service trays, something, but um, just kind of a fun little project. I've always wanted to cast pine cones, and out of all the things I've put in epoxy, I've never stuck a pine cone that I can remember in epoxy, so I'm going to pour these, plane them off. I've seen some way more artistic guys than me do this, and it looks pretty awesome. So we will see what we see. We're going to be pouring, this is our um, aged bronze and um, regular bronze. So this is just bronze, aged bronze, and just purple, purple, just purple. All right. And my little midget mixers that I thought were like, what in the world are these tiny things? I can never use them. And then I was thinking for little mixes like this, we'll see. I don't want to wear my wrist out, so I need to drill mix these little batches. I'm kidding. Okay, I like that. That's pretty. I love the bronzes. How is everybody today? What are you all grateful for? I am grateful for another day. We made it to the weekend. Have a good day tomorrow. Off. Oh, not working. Hopefully you guys have something awesome planned with family or friends or somebody you love. How long is the lead time on epoxy? Lead time on epoxy? It ships same day in most cases now. For, and we've had that for almost eight months, nine months, a year. Same day shipping, I think. Yeah, COVID was pretty brutal on us there for a while. We really had an uptick in sales and just massive um, problems with manufacturing and, and especially just trying to keep high quality materials through COVID was really, everybody just quit caring what their epoxy was made out of. And, we never dropped our quality, but it was pretty tough to keep mixing that, the batches we did. But we have been killing it lately, thanks to all our amazing customers. Ooh, that's a beautiful purple there, man. Good job. All right. Here goes nothing. If you ever think you may have a, any risk of any ambering, the tiniest hint of purple or violet, which is the opposite of any kind of amber in the color spectrum, can be really valuable just to put the tiniest bit in there to kind of reverse that. It's just a little miniature plastic dildo that spins on the end of my drill. So, Okay, just clear. You know what, guys? I'll probably use our whole bucket we were going to pour in our other pour today. So you guys will get to see one thing get cast today. We Charleston, South Carolina, Charleston. Um, welcome, welcome, Jamie. I got if you have moisture, Jamie, we have a way with our outdoor flex and alcohol that's amazing. I mean, um, that's kind of one of the main things I teach, and I actually travel quite a bit doing stuff like that. So let us know. Call our office if you want. And we'll go over that. You can actually call right now. The link's in the bio. Um, and just tell them a few, a few details, and we'll go over that. I'll personally look at it after the live. So I'm going to pour this one in there, too. So we we're going to try to pour two, but you know what? I'd rather go all the way with one. You know what? It's, it's only difficult to work with epoxy if you're um, unorganized. And usually that only happens because most companies don't properly educate their customers on on really anything other than how to click purchase. So um, that is why we try to spend most of our time actually educating and making sure that people don't buy too much or too little or the wrong product for the wrong space or put it on the wrong substrate because sometimes a lot of the failures I've seen with resin is just really hard work and a lot of awesome stuff goes into it and then somebody didn't know one little tiny detail and often um, it was just inadequate instructions. And it, it takes years to build really adequate instructions, and it has to come from a lot of knowledge. So I've studied a ton of chemistry and work really closely with my chemist, and 
I mean, it's, it's a fun process, but success with epoxy is all about organization, I'd say. That's probably number one, rule number one, just be organized. And I'd start out if I was really getting into it for a business, come out to one of our classes. We have the number one epoxy school in the world. We have people from all over the world travel to our classes once a month. Um, if, you, if you're interested, just check out the link and let us know what class you'd like to come to. If, if you call during the live, you can have a free class, but you only hear this on the live. This is only the live on TikTok, not for when you watch it again on YouTube, just because it will all be posted again on YouTube. All right, this isn't bad. It's not horrible, guys. Okay, okay. Now let's see what I do with some clear alcohol. What Levi's running away from his clear alcohol. But I know right where some is here. I do not torch to get bubbles out of casting. Instead of torching, I always spray alcohol. So if you see all these little air bubbles, and it's never wrong just to let them kind of settle out, especially something with all this kind of um, loose density like pine cones. You're gonna wanna keep this here really slow, really cool, not let it get too hot. Now, if you see it's getting a little bit hazy, that's just the, um, from the alcohol, and now it's refracting light through that alcohol differently. As the alcohol evaporates off, it, it'll take care of a ton of those bubbles um, down in the epoxy, but it, um, it'll also clear up really nicely now. So here is nothing, guys. The bronze cone. What would you use as a primer or a base for that floor? Um, I would only use the Flex. That, that Flex has the most amazing bond strength. But what we usually do to deal with moisture, and I've traveled all over the world teaching this and doing it for people, is I usually will run um, alcohol, 99% alcohol, and spray that down onto the slab as soon as it's opened up and unsealed, if you have any sealer on there, just so you can draw that moisture out and get it expelling out the surface. Um, and once I'm done, ooh, that looks good. Once I'm done getting all that moisture out of the um, top of the slab with alcohol because alcohol doesn't just mix with moisture it actually draws and sucks it'll pull moisture out of something like that so then um, after I finish doing that um, to get the moisture out of the slab um, I go back and I mix acetone in with my um, skim coat and acetone instead of just mixing with water it actually or instead of drawing water it actually will mix with water and since we're pouring a really pure 100% solids product um, and we've been really careful with the ingredients, so when you put that acetone, it'll allow, allow it to actually soak into a moist slab. Um, sorry to say moist, but kind of needed to be said here, dealing with moisture. Um, and that'll actually bond down into it and actually get, you'll get way better slab penetration like that. Um, and then it'll lock out. You, you'll get over 30 PSI if it's done correctly. So that, that's pretty um, excessive for any hydrostatic vapor barrier. So. Do you know what? Call our office and send them out some photos and of your backsplash in your kitchen, and that's what we do. Or just call them. Just call them and just describe exactly what you got. Or describe it right here on the live, and I'll try to fix it. So, okay, I'm not. Nine seven zero 970-639-9338. Uh, I don't know your mom's number, but to our office, that's it. Sorry, I joke too much, guys, and they're not good jokes. You know, polish and epoxy is very similar to, let's say, a clear coat on a car. I do not actually want to disturb this too much. So, because I want there to be some separation once this cures. So I'm going to spray this heavy now just to keep it cool. Because that is the game with casting resin is keep it cool. So spraying it with alcohol creates an evaporative effect because alcohol evaporates very quickly. It's about half the weight of the casting resin too. So it's really light. It sets right on top. Um, and it'll, you'll actually, you can spray till you start seeing like blushing and that's fine. Um, it'll evaporate out and just leave a crystal clear pour. But if you allow this to get too hot by just quickly torching it or something like that, that'll usually just kick the reaction up too quickly. Um, it's kind of a sad thing what, what you'll start seeing on a lot of jobs like that, that um, where you kind of get it too hot too quick, is it'll just warp, especially if there was like a long piece of wood in here. It would expand the, or it would cure the molecules of the epoxy in like an expanded form. Um, and then when it cools down, it'll try to shrink back, but that piece of wood's not going to shrink back. so. Um, so you end up having problems with tables and stuff. So always keep your casting resin um, cool and it'll acclimate to the same temperature as the piece it's bonding to. Um, and then you won't have any of that warp issues as long as you can control that temp. Say what? The pine cone's sticking out? This is going to go through a planer and 
they're all going to get planed right off. So, no, it, it would if you left it on here, it would cause dimples, but it doesn't cause dimples um, because this will all evaporate off long before the epoxy cures. And this is a very slow curing casting resin specifically, much different. And if you, you see it, it's kind of bubbling and popping. I don't know if you can see in the reflection. And that's air just slowly coming to the surface. And I'll want to come in here and probably say 30 minutes, spray it again, and probably an hour and spray it even after that. Partly to keep it cool, but also to deal with any of those last second air bubbles. It'll just keep coming up. And then you'll just see this will get clearer and, and smoother. It should turn into a really nice sheet of glass. But something like this, this will take all weekend to cure. It'll probably barely be able to, I mean, maybe we can plan it on Monday. Um, especially if we can control that temp, it should be a really nice slow, slow cure. So. You know, call our office and see, um, talk to them. It's a little thicker of a resin, but a lot of people with allergies and it, it doesn't work for everybody, but we have a very healthy resin that we took out all the known three um, most harmful chemicals that go into resin that cause um, allergies. And every company we've ever seen and every resin has that chemical and our um, actual new platinum resin that we have um, and our black label what resin platinum for Demicote and um, black label on countertopepoxy.com. Um, we took those ingredients out, so a lot of people are able to um, pour, and it's a really beautiful high-end clear resin. Um, but just remember, try keeping it off your skin, um, and try some out, see if it works for you. And uh, that sucks, man. I hate anything that limits people from doing what they love. So, what are, we were spraying um, isopropyl alcohol 99. So now we're gonna do a wall, guys. And I think I have mixed resin, so I started thinking about it, and I stressed a little. I was like, holy crap, I'm gonna be playing in here while my, you know. I, Glad my step stool's handy. Since I'm only six foot four, I need a step stool, guys. No, I'm not six four, I'm five eight, so. All right, we'll see what we see. we'll see what we get here. So I'm gonna try, and we have a little half kit here. We're gonna try to trial out. Um, if I can do a black marble wall. So I'm gonna get this out of the cup because remember epoxy when it's in a mass, like when you get done mixing it, it's sitting in that mass, um, it'll really extend and, and speed up that exothermic reaction um, and make it pretty aggressive. Um, meaning you're gonna lose a lot of working time because what's sitting in that cup is more likely to just set up on you. Whereas if you get it out on a surface like this and you even kind of smear it out just to kind of dissipate some of that heat into the substrate, I know it, you don't actually feel any heat now, but if you were to leave it in the cup long enough, you would start feeling heat. And smearing it out like this gives you a lot of extra working time. So, did you put the color in there? Yeah, that's good. You did, trans green. Ooh, man. So this one, that doesn't look that pretty, it's gonna look beautiful once you get it on this black, guys. I'm gonna do translucent green on black. This is a trowable wall epoxy. How is everyone today? Where are y'all watching from? It's funny, you, some of you people think I'm like Bob Ross and I was in my truck today and I was like, I'm more like Bill Burr if they were actually to fully like ride with me in my vehicle or drive around town, they'd be like, this guy's a way more Bill Burr vibe than, especially with other like slow drivers in the fast lane. North Carolina. Yeah, Illinois Belling, good to see you man. Belling, I am going to finish your knife, I have been crazy busy. And I'm just get the next time I do a fun knife, it's yours. Denver, Seattle. How, what's it like up in Seattle, Seattleites? How warm is it right now? Are you guys still just coastal enough? You're not getting totally destroyed by all the snow? Or is it starting to warm up there again? We, we've been getting crazy record snow. Some friends of ours, whom I just talked to the other day, they said they went skiing at, I think it was Wolf Creek, and 430 inches of base or something they were saying. That's that's unheard of. Um, table we use our actual um, black label countertop epoxy. That is a very hard, very clear, uh, much healthier than the average epoxy. Josh, I would give me crap too, since since it's only took me like what twenty four years to make you a knife. So, and it still isn't made. So, I totally understand that. You have to keep giving me crap. So, ah, this is wall epoxy. So, oh, look at this. This is turning out good. It's 
thought we are trying to keep up with the comments, guys. I'm sorry. Sometimes we get behind on them a little bit. I am I'm kind of caught between a rock and hard place. Which trowel do I use? I got I got my new pretty one, but usually new and pretty don't really work as good as my old and trusted. So I think I'm going to start out with my old and trusted. A lot of knives, you'll start getting what I call a belly. I don't know. I have a belly, so I say the knives do too. It, basically, they'll bow like so. And if you were to put that belly up off the wall, both of your edges of your knife would scrape into your wall and you'd have a really hard time trying to do passes across without leaving really noticeable lines. Now we know we're going to have lines on this wall today and it'll take us a while and we'll keep compressing them in probably after the live. It'll, it'll be a process, but you guys will see us do most of the decorative side of what we do here. And I'm going to use just kind of my medium float here. Everybody blessed today? I know everybody is. Even if you don't know you're blessed, you're blessed. Ain't nobody talking crap about my masking today. Somebody always has something to do, say about my masking. I even made sure there was different colors of masking in here for you guys. To be like, why did he do that? You know what? I'm going to grab my other smaller hand trowel for this. My what? Calming to watch? You guys, just don't watch me drive. Frog tape? Often. But we, I think we had one little row of frog tape left. I didn't realize. We just had a class here and a big job before that. So I went out to my tape bin and it was empty so I think I used some stucco tape and I kind of wanted to see because this wall epoxy cure is pretty hard and I'm going to pull through it because I actually put on the base um, underneath the tape right on the edge which you can't see underneath all these layers of tape I put bed liner pull tape so um, like you'd put under a truck bed liner and it has a titanium wire that you can pull right through like some pretty cured coatings I like to still get at it kind of early but Yeah, the top is stucco tape, guys. I wanted to see how that's put on top of another tape, and I wanted to see how well anything sticks to it. So, so I don't really epoxy the stucco tape a lot. I used to do a lot of concrete coatings like that, but I'm mask for it. You know what? Maybe this should be a chalkboard. It's like not the worst idea I ever thought of. I had a white whiteboard with white marble in on my two offices ago at the end of my on my wall. That was probably one of my favorite offices I ever had. I never used a whiteboard once. All right. Let's see what we do. And now, guys, you can make fun of my troweling abilities if you want. It's not going to hurt my feelings. I am not the most expert troweler in the world. No smell at all. And this is um, countertop epoxy's wall epoxy. This is just our wall resin. And then Levi, I always like to... Um, I'm trying to make a little mess on the bottom of my wall just for fun. Lighty, lighty, lighty. This is going to get badass when we get our colors on here. How is everybody today? Say what? We are making a black marble wall, guys, out of wall epoxy. You could do this right in your shower. This is totally waterproof wall epoxy. This is not like a normal plaster that your shirt can scuff. This is going to be a very durable, very waterproof resin. No smell. No smell, Nicole. Nicole Michelle, is that your name? Nicole Michelle? Two cool names. We have a what? Oh, I'm sloppy. Thank you, buddy. You should come to a class and help me teach me all kinds of skills. Read that comment again. I like to be inspired. I love inspiration, guys. I love inspiration. It's easier to play and talk a lot to make a mess. I bet you're a boring ass dude to work with, bro. Like, Mr. Serious doesn't want us to talk while we work. This is my office, and I'm here for a phone and a live. What are you doing? You're just effing off on TikTok. It doesn't hurt your feelings to hear me talk. There's a volume button on you. Yeah, you can put this over tile. A lot of people do do that. 
I mean, you know what though, dude? For all your criticism, you should just give me some help, helpful pointers and be like, bro, this is how I travel. I'd listen, I've learned everything from other people. I'm a humble man if you teach me a trick. Um, our working time on this is somewhere around 45 minutes, as long as you get it out of the pail in a timely manner. So, um, you know, it's funny talking about critics. I, I think it's really important to be able to deal with critics and not let it stress you. And just remember that usually the critics are the non-doers. I used to do mixed martial arts and kind of a non-balanced balanced lifestyle a little bit. And I remember whenever you'd be sparring or grappling or fighting and somebody was yelling, telling you what to do, usually the loudest guys yelling the most, telling you what to do and how to do it, were guys that had no clue about what they were doing. They just were drunk and screaming. Um, bubbles on a countertop, just mix it properly. Make sure it's over a sealed substrate or like something semi-sealed like MDF or or something like that. Um, and then hit it with a torch afterwards. That torch will make work wonders, guys. So definitely do not underestimate that torch. Oh, really? Man, you got blocked? I did not know anybody got, nobody has got blocked by us for asking about that. You could just call our office and we'll help you out with anything like that if you need. We sell lots of 100% um, solids epoxy all over. Yeah, you wouldn't be on our page if you were blocked. I think you probably had a, like a thumb malfunction or something. Not a sexual thumb malfunction, just a thumb malfunction on your phone. I'm just applying a base coat of black wall epoxy that I'm gonna start trialing some color into here as soon as I get done messing it up. And I don't know, I mean, I might not have enough base down here. It's just kind of a fun, trowelable effect. And now, I don't really care if I'm perfectly flat because I have a whole bunch more colors that are gonna go into this wall. That's really all I want. Well, um, sealing a countertop, if you're building it out of MDF, you don't need to seal the MDF. Um, and if you're going over the top of Formica, just make sure to sand it really um, if you have anything really nasty. And if it's not ultra nasty, just wipe it down with acetone or alcohol. Get any soap scum, grease, wax, weird cleaners. The biggest thing you'll notice is you never know who all cleans your countertops with what, especially around the stoves and edges. And it's just really important to get up in all those nooks and crannies and get all silicone, stuff like that out. Oh, Gator, they are um, 350 is for a class. And if you call during this live, you can have a free class, but only during this live and only if it's getting aired on TikTok. Yeah, we didn't block you, Gator. Did Gator get his gap back? <laughs> I want some walking around money. I don't know if you guys, you probably haven't even seen the other guys. Nobody, nobody understands that. A glob? Right here? Ah! That glob is concerned too. We are located in western Colorado. Okay. It's about to get ugly or pretty or pretty ugly. We shall see. Start out with my first. I'm going to start out at first with a little bit of, a little bit of air. Oh yeah. So this is just um, our light turquoise sprayed out of 99% isopropyl alcohol. Charlotte, good to hear from you. Good to see you. How are you? Hope you're having an awesome day. We are on Grand Junction. Okay, that alone is pretty, guys. You know, you can do either, and both leave pretty neat effects, actually, rolled or brushed. You can, I, 
Um, but usually I, I like to still knock it down with a trowel afterwards, so. I'm just gonna wanna swipe all this across. Whatever I do on one end, I, I do like to continue all the way across to my other side. How is everyone today? You know, no, we're just having fun trawling epoxy. I wish this was our just our paintboard, our chalkboard. Anybody have any fun plans this weekend? What are you guys doing? Anybody in camping weather yet? I'm like, I'm in the mood to camp, but the last time I thought about camping, I know all the trails I'd want to go were just snow and mud where I'm at. My mic? Um, Michael actually hooked me up. The guy running the camera started running. These really good little microphones. And it's a Rode microphone. That's a little cube. It's a little wireless cube microphone. So you can clip it on anywhere from your zipper to whatever action you want to get. So text it up. All right, guys. I don't know. Can you all see a little bit of green? You're, you're about to see it get green, green. All right. Little green, little gold. Yeah, we're, we will be posting all of these lives that we do on YouTube afterwards. So if you want to go to our YouTube channel, you can pick up any of these lives later on. Thanks for watching us, and always hit the follow button, because a lot of times, like walls like this, there'll probably be a few parts to this. I'm gonna polish it, I'm gonna do some true metal into it and different stuff, so. Ah, oh, lady. Thought you had a fancy painting palette, and then you swiped it all off. Just some trans green with a little less gold in between. I like that trans green, that is beautiful. Man. Really only pops, that translucent colors really only pop on the darker backgrounds. Yeah, come to a class and um, just come to a class and sign up for, to be an installer afterwards and we'll talk to you about it. And, you can even call the office and go over some of what you do, and, um, and I'm sure that we'll work with you in some way or another, so. We have about, sorry. We have, with these resins, we have about um, 45 minutes to an hour, as long as your mixing process isn't too extended and you get it out of that pail in time, so. How can we help you, ma'am? I was just picking up pallets. Oh, oh you're picking up pallets? Mm -hmm. Oh, they are right out back, um, right by the dumpster. You saw them, right? Yeah. Yeah, just as long as you just grab the pallets, and then if you see anything else, just let us know. So thanks a lot, ma'am. Have a good day. Right on. Vegas. We've had some guys do some cool jobs there. I've taught in Vegas a few times, but man, I don't know why. That's a, I'm such a non-party animal. Vegas is just a tough city for me to travel to. You guys never sleep. She's just getting pallets, like picking up. Oh, sorry. I'm like repeating what Michael said as if he didn't totally handle it already. Talk to my beard yesterday, just a little bit, and I think that's the second time in history, yes, about a tiny, tiny bit, but I was able to, thank goodness, get it out in time. That was the day before yesterday, but yeah, one of these days during this class, I had a bit of epoxy in my beard, but as long as my little girl loves beards, 
I'll get that crap out. Um, we probably could do something like that. Um, sometimes we do um, lives at a lot of our workshops. So, okay, that's getting pretty. Are you liking that? Where I'm getting a little more naturally swiped out over there. Get in my wall, guys. The two two inch tape at the top. Yeah, dude. Two inches is always optimistic, right? But it gets the job done. Yeah, Stacy, I do like this. As far as uh, I do like that. How long is the retreat? Um, overnight, generally. This will be pretty hard to the touch in the morning, as long as we keep good temperature in the room here and it doesn't freeze or. Anything get too cold? How long? How long? Overnight, Stacy. Don't get mouthy with your typing, Stacy. No, I'm kidding. Is this our Stacy? Yeah, that was our Must be. It was eight bit I don't know. Let me, you know what? I better stand back and look at this, guys. Before I get all cray cray, I better, I better stop. And start trialing this on a little more thoughtfully now. Michelle, thanks for joining our lab today, Michelle. Look at that. I believe I just pulled a stupid. You know what? I'm gonna apply that with a paintbrush. Let me tell you that. I was, I'm gonna show you how to mess up a wall if I don't go grab my other tool really fast. Say what? It could, and we've poured on a lot of glass shower doors, but I don't necessarily trowel on glass a lot. It's not quite as flexible, but I definitely think it could be done. Um, I would only do it if you kept that door interior, obviously, and like if you didn't, I used to take shower doors out and whatnot and do decorative um, pieces with them. But um, this bonds to glass pretty well, but our countertop bonds much better. Like our countertop epoxy, we have pieces right behind the camera here that are like seven years old that have been um, painted a long time ago that are, are they were painted and then epoxied over and they're still really nice where's the what yeah and we cracked one during the move so Yeah, 970-639-9338 if you want to contact us directly here at the office. You guys keep asking numbers because you're hoping I'm accidentally going to give you mine. It's not going to happen, you guys. What's the chances do you all think that I'm just going to trowel all this in and pretend I didn't make some big, ugly attempt at art? It would be a happy accident blasted all over this wall. I think it's going to be good. This is your palette. Yeah, my little painter spot, guys. Don't talk crap. You're laughing with me, not at me. I, I don't believe that for a second, guys. Okay, that's not... I don't think I'd write my mom and tell her about this wall. We'll see what we get with this gold. And I have an idea to un-eff it. Say what? Fling it up there. Fling it up there. I fling, I'll fling it, just not this stuff. What question? If y'all can ask me a question, anything you want to ask me, what do, what do you guys want to ask me? This is question and answer time. It keeps my lives fun. Favorite movie. Favorite epoxy pour. Biggest mistake I've ever made with epoxy. Not other mistakes, guys. All right, I think this is going to actually be super hideous until we trial it. The Northern Lights? That would, I would try to do that. That would be kind of badass, wouldn't it? I'll try to do something like that. Did you spray on the epoxy with the pine cones? 
Um, alcohol. I was spraying 99% oh, isopropyl alcohol on that. Um, it, it looks like I've been doing it for about a day or two, but I actually have been doing this for about 14 years. So, well, I say that I got out of the military 14 years ago and started a construction company and it led to this within about five years I was pouring epoxy like heavily. Try it off a knife here. No, this is a. We're actually. This is kind of my crazy idea. I have a big frame that that's a, It's this exact size one I found. It was just discounted at a frame warehouse, and I thought it was kind of a cool frame. So I want to put it right here on our wall. So. Yeah, wall epoxy is. This is just a non-sag formula product that's meant to be trialed on, and I'm just trying to get some kind of crisp fractures before I try all my last time across this wall. So I'm sure you guys want me to try all now. Yeah, we'll show you exactly what we are doing. If you look at the wall that we're walking towards now, um, notice I'm not walking with you. Um, if you look, that's actually real metal troweled into the wall here. That's a, this is polished brass here that I, um, we actually just finished the wall out and then um, we used a stencil and troweled. We actually have true metal. It's a real metal that you can trowel if you see how polished that is. It's more polished. I polished it consecutive, consecutively heavier down here. So this is 5,000 grit right here at this very end. And you can see the kind of perfect reflection. And that is kind of a finished wall epoxy right there with true metal brass troweled into the top and polished. So kind of the idea of what I'm working on right now. I mean, it's probably hard to imagine this, what I'm doing right now will ever look pretty, but I have faith. I got faith, yo. I was hoping to throw glitter while you guys weren't looking. Yeah. I was hoping Michael was still over at that other wall when I was throwing this. I'll do that at the very end, but I'll see how it trials in now. And I'm probably, the, probably out of all the things I've done the least of, it would be trialing wall epoxy, if you couldn't tell. So definitely, um, the, probably the main thing I need more just practice and time with is, is doing really nice walls. So I'm going to, I will, I'm going to try to get a little bit of a Northern light, light vibe behind the gold here. So I have some awesome colors I'm bringing you guys. And don't forget guys, we are doing a sale 20% off and because I suck at remembering stuff. I'm not a, see, I'm not a salesman. I own a business and I don't ever, I suck at ever reminding anybody we're even having a sale. So but we are doing 20% off right now um, through um, the weekend. And hopefully that helps you get started on a project. So here, oh, I just picked Northern Light colors, but we all know. I, I, the only time I think I kind of saw a little bit of the Northern Lights, I was like, four or five years old in northern Idaho and I don't really remember it at all. So, sorry, I want to spray until I get this primed, the sprayer primed. I want to spray it into a container or something so I'm not ruining everything. Let's, we'll just pretend you guys didn't see that. I was trying to clog the, unclog the end of the sprayer. Really technical. Oh, come on, Levy. Um, a lot of people do get resin allergies with cheap resin, so I'm super happy if, if that means you um, are able to use ours now. Um, a lot of people have switched to our resin to try to avoid resin allergies, but mainly our countertop. That's probably the best if you've ever had a resin allergy. Um, that's our healthiest resin we sell. We're getting new bottles, guys. 
We have new bottles in the other room. And you know what? I should have cleaned that out. That bottle is just fine. It's the operator error right there. I didn't put enough alcohol in it, so. Just because I get moody and shake stuff around and act like my life's not going right because the damn bottle didn't spray doesn't mean I was doing my job in the first place. There we are. A little bit of trans blue right there. Gotta love those blues, guys. Gotta love those blues. Okay, that dripped like an old French woman. Let me... I don't know what that meant. I've only been to France twice and never made that happen once. How is everybody? Glad to see French France standing up right now. There, French people aren't putting up with crap in the world. I like that. Mind over matter. I just want to start with a somewhat clean trial now, before I start trialing out across my wall, or else I will be sure to fornicate what I just thought I did such a good job on. Spray bottles, alcohol. So alcohol and colors. So a lot of that you see we um, mix, our, mix our colors with our 99% uh, isopropyl. And yep, our alcohol is dry. So we shall see what we see. See what we get. See if we get a Northern Lights vibe here. Trial and error. That's a good one, guys. I got lots of error, not a lot of trial. Uh, you know what? I want to run the Kenai Peninsula. I'd love to do that sometime, and just overland the whole Kenai Peninsula. That's kind of one of my one of my bucket list items see how far down the peninsula I get or something at least. So, what am I doing? I'm in here having sex with a ladder. Get that out of my way. Here we are. A little freer now. Um, we used all powdered pigments today. There's no liquids in here that I can think of. I think we used, um, our base was black metallic. Um, and it's all our pigments. We uh, mixed all our countertop epoxy.com pigments and Ooh, I don't know. I ain't too sad. What do, you, what do you guys think? You guys are the customers and the bosses, so what do y'all think? Is this the worst wall you ever saw, or is it coming together? Do I need to... I've got the touch. I've touched lots of stuff. Walls, floors, countertops. I don't know what you were thinking. Thank you for being here, y'all, by the way. This is, you know, I'd have to talk to my chemist about that, but I will talk to him. It's a very clear material that we were able to do because we don't use Catasil and lose clarity like a lot of cheap resins do. So, oh, that's really, really getting smooth now. Say what? Dude, thank you guys. Thanks for not pissing me off so I don't have to be on chill. I'm kidding. You guys are awesome. I try to be chill. If I could just choose to always do that now, wouldn't that be a blessing? As I've lived my life, I've had a few bumps and bumping grinds that definitely have a way to slow you down and make you think about what you do. So, a little more purple. I'm on that note all day. I totally agree with whoever said that. We're gonna do just that. I like your purple idea. We're gonna throw down with some damn purple right now. Where is our purple at? Totally agree with that's a good good call there. I don't think you can go wrong with that. I 
promise, guys, I'm better with other stuff than I am with spray bottles, apparently. There we are. Now we're getting the purple on that wall. And all the overspray, guys, the alcohol evaporates and leaves powder to, um, to wipe up. As long as you don't get a ton of alcohol worked into, like, a um, really cheap paint or something, you're fine. here with me you too could do that but you don't so you can't so there let's let's try this out see what we get here I'm glitter bay guys always blow your wall first wait a minute Ooh, that's sexy as that You guys are proud of me. I've been cussing less lately. Weird, guys. I only cuss offline now. <laughs> come to a class. If you want to start a business, come to a class and start out by at least learning a lot of mistakes that a lot of pros made and that was very expensive for them to learn to get over. And they should be able to organize you so quickly. So just check the bio. We have the largest epoxy school in the world here. And we teach everything from floors, countertops, walls, you name it. So tubs, sinks. Um, we talk about hydrostatic vapor, moisture, all kinds of issues. I don't know. What do you all think? What, do, what does it need now? I'm loving it. I am thinking that's okay. Do you know what I think it needs? To dry and get peeled off and have a frame put on it. A phone call back. I would guess if you call the office right now, I'm listening. So if you call the office at 970-639-9338, I've been here the whole live and there has not been a single unanswered call. So maybe you're calling the wrong number or not. But so um, definitely try calling right now and I'll hear if it actually, if that phone rings. So we're kind of famous for having the best customer service in the world. So I'm doubting that's going to be an issue with you. Let me show you guys. Um, I'm going to do shimmer gold for you guys. That's a really fun color to get up on there. Shimmer gold, I think, might really cap this wall off. Ooh, and I got a really concentrated transviolet. And Caribbean, because we got it. Why wouldn't we bring it if we had it? And I don't believe we're going to do pearl. But why not some more trans green? Um, we can sand the finish if we choose to. Um, and sand and polish it, and I'll show you what we actually do and what we have done. I'm going to grab some gold, and we'll be ready to rock out with our socks out. Um, mostly, guys, I don't know if you're learning anything or if I'm just having fun troweling, but I am enjoying this trowelable epoxy. It's so fun to play with. Oh, you called Monday and left a voicemail? Call back again. I know we've been a super busy office, but thank you for letting us know. I'm betting if you call back and let us know, somebody will get right back with you. And thanks for watching our live, by the way. Say what? Caribbean. Caribbean. That's exactly what we got going on here. I like Caribbean. That's going to kind of scrunch up as we start troweling it. Now the wall is going to start getting a little firmer and firmer and firmer, like my tits when I work out. So, um, but what really happens is it trials, that's a horrible joke, guys. I'm a shitty joker. Like, I want to be a comedian someday, but I'm sure I'd get booed off stage. They would be like, what's the janitor doing out here trying to tell? They wouldn't even know it was jokes I was trying to tell, really. Your moms would be there laughing, but nobody else would be. So, see, that's how bad my jokes are. A little bit of trans green going on here. I, didn't, I told you guys I was going to get trans gold. I bring back like four colors and no trans gold. That's how I roll. Okay, a little heavier violet. That's what we wanted in there. Keep 
getting that applied to the wall. Where is our, oh, there's our green. This is a green green here. So hopefully this really, you notice how I always try to spray it in there so I'm not shooting one big old major dump right on the wall. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. We're a tiny company, but we're a very good company. I, I believe we're a very good company. I'm the owner, so. Um, but I'm really just a teammate here, and I am like in love with our customers, our products, and especially our badass team. We have an amazing team of people here, so that's, I can't believe like how often I hear people come to classes or they come to the office to pick something up. We ship all over the world, but sometimes we'll have local people come in, and it's, it's exciting when you hear firsthand accounts of people in class or wherever that being taken care of. So I'm very proud of my team. Stacy, thank you. Uh, we are based out of Western Colorado, Grand Junction, which is the western side of the state. Oh, that's better, that's better, guys, that's better. Yeah, don't worry, guys. Stacy, I might need you to come help to reach the top of this wall here. Dude, I, I was at the store, and I couldn't reach something up high, and this dude comes around the corner, and he's like six foot six, and he goes, oh, do you need help? And I was like, oh, thank you, you saved me. I joked with him. He's a much crotchy old man. He like looked so annoyed. I was surprised he even helped me hand him olives or whatever the hell he was handing me. He looked like I traumatized him. Call it 1-900-MIX-A-LOT. We'll shake those nasty thoughts. No, um, if you want to call Countertop Avoxio, you could call 970-639-9338. I would, I ship to the Big Island of Hawaii. We actually even possibly have some dealers out there right now that may be able to take care of you as well. So I'll bring that in my damn suitcase and bring it right to you. Okay, that's not ugly, is it, guys? Blind chicks around the world are drooling on my walls. Walls, I said walls specifically here we are y'all okay judge away this is friday i couldn't care less if you don't like it you're probably just self-reflecting some negativity that was told to you when you're a child or you have eyes and you actually see that it's not that great but i think this is gonna polish nicely though very very nicely so that should be a really nice piece of marble right there and I am going to start peeling tape off right now. So let me go set my trowels down somewhere that doesn't create a massive mess right here. And we'll see what it looks like when it's just a square box on the wall, right? I'm loving it like Burger King, huh? So, say what? Is that McDonald's is I'm loving it? Oh, Burger King's like have it your way or something, right? Like, I'll have diabetes, please. I talk crap. Guess what I ate for lunch? Chick-fil-A. I just like when I see people in there that are really healthy, like like really healthy people, because I'm like, yeah, they ate Chick-fil-A. It must not be that bad for me. It's chicken. It's lean protein, right? You guys are all hoping that you see a fail video right now. You all just hit the record button. I guarantee you, you're like sharing my live right now, being like, this dude's gonna get tangled up in his masking plastic and have a big damn accident all over the place. It's gonna be hilarious. He's gonna slip and fall, get angry. Maybe that didn't happen. Right there from the windows to the walls, the epoxy right there. You traveled right around to the left there, yeah. And with, that's a, still kind of a base layer of white marble. So let me, let me pop the lights on and see. I don't know, maybe it'll be worse lighting actually with the lights on too, sometimes it is. I don't know, it turned out good though, right? And we'll pull that masking, but I still wanna do a, I wanna, I wanna try to subdue this and do, um, kind of a, um, a muted white pearl in the wall. 
just so you see a lot less of the actual harsh colors, but you'll see them really three-dimensionally through the white pearl. And then as that sets up, I want to actually put brass and trowel veins of brass into the wall um, and polish them so we have true metal, like brass veins popping out or fractures. So, well, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, though. It's really valuable for me to know, and not just positive comments. Tell me what you don't like. This is our countertop epoxy wall epoxy that we just poured. So, and we just finished our kind of a wall picture here. Let me see if I actually have the frame. I might be able to kind of test set it for you and you can see what I'm looking at. I, this was a, this frame they claimed they were selling it for $360 and, and um, somebody didn't come to pick it up so they sold it for like $33 so I bought it. So I thought it would be fun to trial something out on the wall. Ooh, almost touched it. Right there. Wouldn't that be kind of fun, guys? Frame it. Just trial something on the wall. You don't have to answer. I know it's going to be fun. Um, sorry, I did not hear that question. Say again? Nope, this is just wall epoxy with no thickener in it whatsoever. The resin already comes. Um, we're really thick viscosity, so you can trial it, and you can still get really good metallics in it. So, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. We just finished up a really fun class this week, and I'm, uh, if any of you guys are watching that left the class or people from classes, thank you for being here. I um, hope you guys are having a great beginning of your summer, and I hope you have an awesome weekend. So do something with somebody you love and kill a pedophile until we get that list off the island. So have an awesome weekend, boys.